think anyone should expect one thing to fulfill them. Um, yes, I enjoy acting. Yes, I enjoy performing, but that's not the only thing that creatively fulfills me. A lot of acting, honestly, I started finding to be a little bit, how do I put this? Like, I don't want to say derivative, but it, it was always me embodying somebody else's words and somebody mm-hmm. else's writing and the story that they wanted to tell. And I love playing that part in an overall production and, and lending that uh, piece of the puzzle when I am a performer, but also I like writing too. And I want to tell my own stories and I have other ideas. So being able to embrace those open doors and accepting that I don't think anyone should be expected to, to feel completely. Yeah. Like, Fill and full of themselves just with or full of themselves you know fulfilled is what fulfilled, i mean yeah, yeah. with um just one creative endeavor i think it takes it takes many things um and i, I love it i love it. i love producing i love being behind the camera i think there's there's a reason why so many actors in hollywood end up transitioning to producer roles or director roles or executive producer roles because and eventually like to be totally honest in being in front of the camera all the time is exhausting. So kind of playing a different role and also elevating other voices and elevating other people to be in front of the camera. I really enjoy. And I, and I love being able to, uh, to do that. So, yeah. Yeah. I have a, I have a love hate relationship with that idea because I know that I do get joy out of helping people and doing, being kind of the, the behind the scenes connector and, and then seeing, you know, it all work out. But if I didn't also have the thing that helps me feed that annoying silent voice in my head that needs to be fed and, and, and keep my ego alive, uh, by being in front of the camera, I don't know if I would still get as much joy from that. Yeah. You know, cause it's like, cause it's like, cause it's not the main thing that I do. Sure. You know, cause I don't define myself on that. And it's just like, I'm like, Oh, this is like extra toppings on this this already great sunday whereas like i if i focused mainly on all that stuff i might realize i'm not actually that great at it <laughs> and, <laughs> and and it's just it's i'm good for it as a side thing so i don't know i uh i mean i yeah. i i've of course you know once again not to like mutual fan out here or anything but um Matt and I, I know he mentioned it as well. We've been following you for a while now for at least over 10 years. So yeah, I mean, from watching your journey, just even like as a creator in the space has been fascinating. And I'd say you do a pretty damn good job at uh, doing all of the things. Of course, you know, I can't, I haven't worked under you or worked, uh, you know, adjacent with you. So I can't speak personally on that, but. Yeah, no, no, I, I say this constantly in case any story ever comes out. I'm a horrible boss. <laughs> like I just, I try to find really capable people and, and hope that they can do a job without me staying on top of them because I'm a horrible boss. I am not a good collaborator. I need everything, <laughs> everything to be fucking about me. Uh, when we had source fed, I was overjoyed to be, uh, surrounded by people that were far more talented talented than me and it brought me joy because they they just funniest fucking people like at a level that i'll never be at but as a boss i'm not good man i just it took me many years to realize that but i'm I'm a great i'm a great philip defranco i'm a i'm a pretty good dad and husband i suck at everything else is it is it like is it the what part about it this feels like you're a bad boss is it do you feel like you're it's the leadership or the collaborative issue i have i have i have two people in my head i have the i'm always right everything's about me everyone needs to shut the fuck up and suck it up and then uh and then i'm a big people pleaser. I don't want any, I want all the people a part of a project to feel equally loved and supported. And if anyone has a complaint, how do we fix that? But also if you complain, what the fuck are you complaining about? This is a dope ass job. <laughs> like it's two different people. And, and so everything I feel like, especially with the pandemic and it's like primarily no face to faces. I like, <laughs> I try to be like, to the point that you were saying, like you say a good thing, a bad thing, and then a good thing. 
um, there was a period of me as a boss where I like like a like a like a parent that didn't realize I thought it was I thought it was like always and understood how much I admired and and loved the people that I work with, even if I didn't vocalize it. And so, but the only thing they were hearing from me, if anything, was criticism or the people that I had put into place that maybe were less than ideal to them, instead of it being seen as like just another person, maybe that's coming from Phil. So what Mm -hmm. I ended up realizing years later was there there were a number of people that just had negative experiences with me um, because, you know, the thing, the thing would get so big and I would. I would also, I was very passive aggressive at that time, but, uh, cause I didn't know how to handle the, the, the responsibility, yeah. but yeah, I mean, that's, that's why a lot of like what I'm trying to think of moving forward is just me, just I'm focused on me and, and, and like working with as few people in a close way where if they fuck up, it's not a big deal. Like sure. I've, I've really enjoyed, uh, over the past year working with a whole slew of of artists for our clothing and our apparel because for the longest time I had kind of shot that off and so for me it's this bit, it's been this really interesting uh creative expression for myself but also working with people that are infinitely more talented in a realm that I'm fascinated by yeah yeah so yeah 